hi guys welcome back to another video so in this video I'm going to show you how to use uh, ASOS to get or to send requests to an API and then we can get the API or the data coming from that API to show it on our react application so in this uh, tutorial I'll be using ASOS and there are many ways uh, to, that we can use uh, it can be as fetch as well and i'll show you the benefit of using acs over using fetch so uh, we can have a look into this article um, by seeing how can we actually implement this using acs so we can install using yarn at acs or uh, nmp install and here is the uh, video that you can also um, watch. So here we just import it from ACOS and then we can actually call it on the uh, component did mount or if you are using React hooks, we can use uh, use effect, run just this one. And then this is the link that we get from the API link. And you will see that uh, when I actually implement this and uh, see together and it's like looping through all of the um, that are coming from the API link and this is the post request when you try to say you want to send uh, over the API then you can just use this as a post as your post and this is the delete as seen here um, so it also contained this async or await so you can make uh, working with the promises even simpler with this uh, two functions and await key a result the promise and return the value which can be assigned to a variable and this is the example that you can see so um, as I mentioned earlier at the beginning of the video so there are multiple ways to uh, use to get the HTTP request and once is the fetch and this is the ASOS that I just mentioned. Um, why is that I going to test or use this ASOS uh, over this? So now let's have a look into this. This is the comparison between the, these two. So you can see that this is the simply uh, simple example using the Spotify API and then uh, they use pass it to fetch using the fetch function and call it back to the console return from the request and here you can see that the data coming from this here this is what we don't actually uh, need the reason is that to get the data that we want from that API we need to pass it to uh, JSON function first so that we can see it as seen here and this is the function that we have to use but for ACS instead um, when we try to use we don't need to do that dot JSON's uh, open or close bracket we can just use it directly as seen here so to get this from the URL which is coming from here and then we respond and we uh, can actually get the data as seen here so this say one step so by using ACL, you can cut out the middle step of passing the result of HTTP request to the JSON format and ACL just return the data that you want and this is what you expect. So the second issue is that um, uh, the uh, handle the error response logically you think of this. So um, you can have a look more into these things and this is the benefit of using the ACL over fetch and I got another one as well right here so this is uh, the comparison between these two so what the difference is again it's better um, npm link and below is the reason why so here you can see this is just an example of using ACOS the ACOS perform automatic transformation of JSON data so I just talked earlier from this uh, link so we don't need to uh, use the JSON function and ASOS is more secure and also the featuring built in cross site forgery uh, protection it has got this uh, feature to protect this uh, cross site forgery and 
also Asus has a better error handling just um, showed previously as well and Asus has the interceptor also it has the ability to monitor post request progress and Asia has the wider range of supported browsers as seen here so you can already see that uh, comparison between these two Asia has got more uh, benefit compared to uh, using the fetch function and right here you can see that this is the library that um, more than 5 million downloads for this week already and this is the example of using that so in this video I'll show you how to use this function and where, where do I need to get the data from so this is one of the uh, website that we can actually use and this is one of the popular as well so you can see that this is the fact online REST API for testing and prototyping and it's serving like more than around 350 million uh, requests per month so I'm going to use this uh, for our demonstration all right so to install this what I need to do I'm going to copy this and go to your uh, project directory and then you paste this and you're going to install this library all right so after this has been installed what I'm going to do I'm going to go to the um, Visual Studio which you can see here and I'll see you guys in a minute after I finishing uh, typing out the code all right so now I have typed out all this code and before getting into all this code I'll just quickly show you what on the website and why is that I use this instead of the others all right now let's have a look so here again is the website so for this these are all of the available resources and the one that I use is actually coming from this the photos and they also got the albums comments or post and here I have opened some of this so this is the one that I actually use and there are 5000 record as seen here so here is the total value which is the unique ID of uh, number 5000 so it's 5000 record and here for the to do list uh, it's got like user ID with the unique ID and the title of the to do list and it's the completed uh, false and for this to do list we basically can use the completed false um, as says when clicking on a button on the left then it filter out all of the uh, to-do list with the true while you're true or on the right hand side for the false one um, it means that the to-do list that have to do and the left one is already completed or you can just already on the right or right uh, by using this uh, variable completed and for the post uh, just like post or uh, that people can actually read what it's like for each post so here's got the title the body and the user ID also the ID so this is the one that uh, currently I'm using so it's got the uh, album ID the ID the unique ID the title uh, of the um, photos and also this is the URL that the data not really the data but the photo that it came from and this is the thumbnail which is the smaller size and now let's have a look on to the code so here is the code so here I have created a separate file right I'm just putting everything onto one file that we've been working on this file and this is a separate one so what I declare is that I call this function as ACOS and we are using react hooks so here the uh, variable photos and this is the set photo and I use the cause effect when this uh, file actually uh, first render it look into this um, what's inside this so we are using the ACOS get to get the information from this uh, link the API and then response it then 
getting all the data from this API and it saw it into the uh, photos variable by then it stored it into this variable the set photos and store right here after that I uh, loop all of this loop through all of the 5000 records and I display the photo.ul so you will see what it looks like on the website right here but uh, before that again when we try to create like a separate file we need to export the default of this uh, the name right here export and go back to the index.js you can see that I need to import it if I want to use or call uh, this ACOS and right here uh, when I scroll down you can see that the ACOS is actually called right here I can just change this uh, say on top of the uh, pick flavor and stuff so this is the result of the 5000s but there's one issue you can already see is that it's not actually showing the image that I want to see uh, it just shows the URL of that image so how I'm going to do it I need to use a um, image um, to show this so to see the image I need to use this um, IMG tag and this is the source that coming from exactly the same as this and just to make sure that I put this otherwise I got a warning message and the title of the uh, photos so here is the title of the photos so now we go back you can see that this is the result coming from each uh, URL or each individual um, ID of the image for 5000 records so this is just an example but um, you can actually use a filter out say you want to see only the record from ID 1 to 10 or to 100 but not showing everything this uh, for the um, use of ACOS you can just do or modify the code as you like okay so now let's go back a little bit and you can see that uh, we're using this map but when I try to inspect so you'll see um, the warning message so this is the consult try to uh, expand a little bit so you can see that each child in the list should have a unique key prop again um, we need to have something that unique for the key prop inside because the reason is that we are using the uh, dot map method again to solve the issue it's quite simple just use the keyword key and then this is the uh, photo dot ID the reason is that the ID is unique ID of 5000 uh, numbers or records and here as you can see that the um, warning has already uh, disappeared and this is how we actually using ACOS to call um, the data coming from the API and it's quite simple as you can see here and for this example I just call the URL but then you can just call whatever you want let's say um, before getting or finishing this video I'm gonna show you a quick one which is uh, photo dot let's see what we can use this from say uh, title all right so I'm gonna put photo.title and then comma and see what the results like so here again it tried to re-render this and you see that uh, each individual title going to show onto the screen here again here you can see that this is the title from for this image and all of this are having a unique title I might also want to show you this um, one as well say it's my JSON server um, so you can see that we can actually use our own server as a JSON format by uploading all of the um, JSON format here onto the github so create a JSON file on github and then we can use that link from our own github to create it as a fact server 
So here's how to do it. So um, say you got your GitHub account. This is your username, and this is the particular uh, repo. And create db.json, and then visit this to access your server. And this is quite convenient, which we can actually create our own in the JSON format using uh, this uh, my JSON server. All right. So um, again. Today we look into using ACOS.get to get the data from the API and I think that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Um, see you guys in the next video.